Hey everybody, my name is Melissa and I'm the Communication Coordinator for Bristol Entertainment. During the pandemic, we want to show our support showing that you're not alone, that we're all going through this together by telling our stories. So here's mine. I would be lying saying that everything has been good and smooth and that this hasn't affected me in no way. It has affected me in so many ways that I didn't even think was possible. Of course, most people think of, you know, not being able to go outside. Um, another one is not being able to go make income, money, or just go and do your opportunities. I think the biggest way it has affected me is my mental health. Um, constantly, every day, I'm trying to make sure that I protect my mental health at all costs. It's so easy to go and have a panic attack or um, anxiety hit the roof or even go into a depression during this time because of we don't know what is next, the unknown, the uncertainty, and there's not that much information. We're constantly getting information. We don't know if it's valid or true or real. So it's just a very hectic time. Um, some days I'm happy, some days I'm sad, some days I'm angry, some days I'm mad. It just really depends on the day, the time, and the hour, literally. Um, but during this time, I try to remain positive and think about the blessings I have. I am blessed enough that I live in the area, as you can see, that, you know, I can go out and be in sun, air, and fresh air, which really helps. I recommend that for anybody. If you live in a place where you can go sit outside, do so. Um, that helps tremendously. Going for walks, I'm blessed that I, be able, I can be able to go on walks around my area. Also, um, just bless the fact that um, not I do not have the virus and I have resources to sustain me until we go back to, um, till we go back to regular society or until we go back into functioning as a um, regular day-to-day -day society. I'm also blessed the fact that, you know, my family does not have it. Nobody close to me or immediate or even friends do not have it. And those are all blessings because literally the um, counts of people affected by this is is crazy so those are the blessings i have to look at when every time i you know I, I constantly want to start beating myself up i also want to start beating myself up from time to time because of just social media when looking on social media everybody's kind of telling you what to do with your time some people are saying you know oh go learn a new skill other people are telling you you know Go get a, a side hustle, make a business, do something, or, you know, make a TikTok if you're into dancing. Like, just so many things. And at other times, I just, I feel like I'm not being productive, not I'm wasting my time because, you know, sometimes I just want to sleep or sit in silence. And um, it's, it's been hard because I constantly think, when I beat myself up, thinking that I'm not doing enough, that um, I'm not, not, not helping out enough. Then also just, you know, not having the freedom to go where you want to go. You know, it's one thing if you choose to sit in the house, but it's another thing if you're told to sit in the house. You know, not even going to your daily runs and errands that we're so used to doing. Like, look, my nails broken, hair looking bummy, like literally. It's it's that, that you know, we take those things for granted or just going through our everyday normal things. Um, just not being able to be around your friends, you know, on your families or loved ones and stuff, but it's it's been hard. It's been hard. Um, literally, it's been hard. Um, the things that I've been trying to do to counteract any of um, any of my low feelings, which is normal. You're gonna have low times, low feelings. Is reading books, um, going a walk, going around, taking a walk, and you know, being in fresh air that helps. Um, and just meditating and prayer. Um, those are things that have really been helping me, but I would be lying and saying that, you know, I've been happy or, you know, using this time to be productive. It's been hard. Um, it's been hard. It's literally, but we're going to get through this. We're going to get this together as a team, as a family. And um, the only thing I have to say before closing this video out is that whatever you're feeling is okay. Your thoughts and feelings are valid, are definitely valid. If you're angry, it's okay to be angry. If you're sad, it's okay to be sad. If you want to cry, it's okay to cry. I know sometimes in society we look at crying being weak, but that's okay as well. 
If you want to scream, scream. Whatever you're feeling, your thoughts are valid. And know that you're not alone. And that just this is just a season. It's an interesting season, but it's a season. We will get through this. But um, I hope my story will help someone. I hope that you see that you're not alone in this too as well. But my name is Melissa. Um, be supportive. Hashtag be supportive. Bryce Entertainment. We out. Peace.